Good morning, my dudes. We are out here doing some creek fishing this morning. Really looking forward to it, man. We got some stainage on the water. Not too bad, though. It is about 80 degrees for 8 a.m. in the morning. It's getting up there. Eh, maybe 75 might be overestimating a little bit, but it's hot out here. Creek runs cool. Let's see if we can catch some fish. We're also trying out some uh, new wading shoes today. So. These are only $10, man. Um, pretty inexpensive. No, my, that was already a hit, man. That was, uh, my last shoes, I, I dropped like 70 bucks on or something like that, maybe more. I blew them out within a, a season, pretty much. Just waited as much as I could here in the creek. And I only come here maybe once, twice a week at top, so. Uh, it says a lot about the quality of those. I can't remember the brand. It wasn't a uh, very well-known name brand, but uh, yeah, they uh, just didn't work out. They were nice looking. They felt good. There we go, fish on. They just weren't the ticket. We lost her. That was a uh, gar for sure. So the gar are out here. I am working a Zoom Fat Albert. Kind of wanted to catch some fish on this. It's a chartreuse guy. Um, but if we're going to be catching gar, I might downsize to a smaller paddle tail. Just so they kind of engulf that bait a little bit more. I think this should work out. I really am targeting just about anything. This creek's always a uh, multi-species gamble. So we are going to change up our presentation. I'm going to try this fluke. It never fails here. I mean, I've already been nipped at with the grub up plenty of times. So maybe uh, immediately, man, maybe they'll uh, be interested in this. Maybe they'll commit more. Oh, fish on. Now that doesn't feel like a gar. It feels like a bass. A drum. First fish of the day, little drummy. Itty bitty feller too. Kind of bug eyed. Look at that one out popping out. There we go. First fish of the day. So they're biting. They're biting the fluke. Took my tail though. That's a snake. Just gotta make sure he's not a copperhead or a moccasin. It might just. No, that's just a water snake. As far as I can tell. Yeah, but a decent sized one. I don't like how low he's swimming though. I don't mind when I can see their heads. I'm just kind of following out of here. Good fish. Oh man. That's a bass. What the heck is going on over here, man? Some kind of weird photo shoot as I land this epic bass. Oh my god. Dude, I think that's a striper. Oh no, it's a flathead or a channel. Yeah, boy, my buddy the ranger up there told me there had been some fella here that caught a bunch of channels. Look at the size of that one. Oh my goodness. What's up, beautiful? Man, he hit that on the fall too. This might be a pyre's operation. Well, check her out, guys. Look at this fatty. Oh, she's biting me. She's biting me. I'm gonna get her back in right quick. Had to show her off on the big camp. All right.
big, absolutely awesome catch, man. This creek never ceases to surprise me, man. She bit the heck out of me out there. I love it. Stick your hand in their mouth, those channels will grab a hold. Kind of how you have to get them right under there. Not a big one, but we are thankful for you. All right, my friends, there we go. Been fishing for these guys for a hot minute. I mean, I've been bumped so many times. Beautiful, beautiful little juvenile gar of the long nose variety. We'll get her back in. Look at that fin, man. Absolutely gorgeous. On your way. I kind of want to throw like one more cast, but I know I gotta leave. Let's just throw one more. It's so addictive, man. Especially. Good one, good one, good one. Oh, that's a trophy. All right, well, he fought for it. At least we're catching something out here. Thought he was a little guard. What is up everybody? Hope you guys are doing all right and hope you enjoyed the video. So the feature bait really of today's video was that Zoom Fat Albert. Now I did start out with the Super Fluke Junior, uh, the old tried and true, or I kind of start out with this switched over within 10 minutes maybe to this. Uh, due to it being so hot out, I was starting to wonder if I was actually going to be able to get anything to bite, um, given we've had kind of a heat wave the last week or so. but. After getting hit a couple times, moved over to the bait I wanted to fish, um, the Zoom Fat Albert. Now I absolutely love these. I fish these a lot. Kind of your standard four inch grub, uh, curly tail. However, I saw this chartreuse pearl color while I was at Academy. I had to grab it and shout out to whoever stocks my local Academy because they are absolutely on point and have a fantastic taste in bait and uh, different colors and whatnot. Anyhow guys, love it. It's super durable, man. It just, it gets bass to bite. Unfortunately, we didn't hook into any. There was, I'm not surprised at all the type of weather we've been having lately. I figured uh, it was a little late in the day to be um, kind of wishing for that, but I'm glad we got hit by something. Anyway, durability wise, I love it. The one thing I like about these grubs in particular is the tail to body ratio. So it's got that longer body on it and I can shove a one-aught EWG or a tiny little worm hook, like round bend type worm hook in there and uh, weed it, or rig it, excuse me, weedless. So peg like a 16th ounce weight or something on there, an eighth ounce weight, and throw it completely weedless. So I do love that, especially for fall when I have so many fallen leaves in my water that I can't throw an exposed hook. Uh, we were working that on a one quarter ounce uh, little jig head by Big Bite Baits. And I was working the uh, Abu Garcia Pro Series rod. So I did feature this in my last video. I had this rod for a while. I just, I have a ton of different rods, man. I mean, I got like 
in the 40s or something like that and I um, a lot of them are fairly nice too you know I kind of impulse bought this one I didn't use it enough so I picked it up last week and I really really enjoyed throwing it I'm considering taking it on my Wisconsin trip with me because it's really nice to have a medium spinning rod so this is a 7-1 medium spinning rod it's that Abu Garcia Pro Series the Justin Lucas shaky head Neko rig rod, which I throw neither on. I just like it for quarter round soft plastics, really, to be honest with y'all, or uh, something within that weight range. It's the uh, composite, the graphite on is just extremely sensitive. It's lightweight. I mean, it's got great balance. There we go. And uh, especially with this kind of reel, which is the Abu Garcia, I kind of wanted to match him, so I bought this uh, also. It wasn't a combo, it was just a I bought them both separately. This is the Revo X, and it's a smaller one, so it's the X10. Uh, I like to rig it up with eight pound fluorocarbon, and it's a fine rod, man. I, no point that I feel like I'm gonna break the actual rod hooking into a big fish, and it's a ton of fun to work and uh, manipulate baits with, and it's kind of fun to, for me to do something different. I use casting gear so often, uh, kind of nice to switch it up and throw some spin and stuff. Anyhow, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Had a great time making it. As always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and get some good fish on, my friends. Peace.